Welcome to the Music City Center. I'm Rich Boyd, art consultant, and today we'll be traveling throughout the building looking at 100 pieces of artwork that comprise the Music City Center art collection. Installed on the first level East Concourse are two large-scale works by Memphis-based artist Whitney Wood Bailey. Dualities 25 and Intersections 11 are the title of the pieces. They are oil and mixed media on canvas. The artist combines organic form with precise mark making called ticking, and she was inspired uh, in this process by visits to ancient art caves in France. She currently lives and works in New York City. Measuring some eight feet by 30 feet, this work by Han Schmidt Matson is called Anthology. It is using acrylic enamel and shaped MDF board, and the artist was inspired by his love of books and his love of libraries, combined into one enormous work of art. There are 60 meeting rooms in the Music City Center along five different corridors. Upon entering the meeting room corridors, it may be obvious that there is only one work of art, but as you travel down the corridors, you realize that each space between the meeting rooms serves as its own gallery, showcasing the work of national, local, and regional artists. Music is the obvious theme of this work by Nashville-based artist Caroline Allison. It is an archival pigment print. It is a tribute to Loretta Lynn uh, by her duet singing partner. It's called Twitty City, and it is uh, representative of some of the finest photographers that we have here in Nashville. Jerry Atnip is a well-respected, highly regarded international photographer. He has a 36-year career and his work is featured in collections all over the world, in major museums and in corporations. Our particular artwork for the Music City Center has a local flavor. It is called the Hermitage Kitchen. The attack on Her Majesty's ship Beagle by artist Barry Bucks Camper is uh, acrylic on canvas and the artist implies a unique technique by hand cutting the bottom of the canvas. Uh, the artist was reading a book on Charles Darwin about the study of the earthworm, so he used that as the focal point of this painting. Among 103 works of art in the Music City Center collection are eight large-scale site-specific works in which the building was structurally changed in order to both accept and install the works. Philip K. Smith III of Indio, California received two of these large-scale commissions. The first of these is titled Cladney. Situated along the meeting room corridors is a work by national artist James Threlkel. James is highly respected and is in many collections throughout the country. This work is acrylic on canvas. It's called Jazz Intensity. It reflects both the diversity of music and the diversity of artists that perform and record in Music City. This is the second commissioned artwork by California artist Philip K. Smith III. Again, on a meeting room corridor wall, this work is approximately 30 feet by five feet. It's titled Spectrum II, and again, the artist uses acrylic desk, brushed stainless steel, and MDF board. He was influenced by both the, the undulating roof that represents the rolling hills of Middle Tennessee and sound waves that travel. Tim Hooper, Nashville artist, also known professionally as Mr. Hooper, loves to paint historical figures, historical characters. For the Music City Center art collection, we have individuals known for and associated with both Nashville and Tennessee history. Johnny Cash, Minnie Pearl, David Crockett, and William Edmondson. Michael McBride has employed a technique in painting called kaleidoscope, using shapes and patterns and color 
layered on top of each other to create this wonderful painting called Family Traditions. It's acrylic on canvas. It's about renewal, rebirth. It's about tradition. Bold and colorful. This work by Mary Addison Hackett is both engaging and entertaining. She uses oil and acrylic on canvas to create what she titled Mystic Hovercraft, and it invites further investigation by guests to Music City Center. The diversity of art in the Music City Center Art Collection, the diversity of artists in the Nashville community, and the diversity of materials that artists use are reflected in this piece. It is called Interlude, and the artist is Jairo Prado, a well-respected Nashville artist. We like to say there's a surprise around every corner as far as the Music City Center Art Collection is concerned, and that is certainly the case when you find Carrie McGee's wonderful wall installation called On This Ground using acrylic panels and mixed media materials. It is both a work of art and a document of the construction of this facility. This collection contains both artists of renown and up and coming artists that will be heard from in the future. This particular work is by Memphis artist Jared Small. Jared has created a wonderful work oil on canvas called True Blues, and as he likes to say, he's left a little bit of Memphis blues and a whole lot of Memphis grit in Music City. One of the really strong pieces in the collection is by Christy Newell, who's a retired professor at Middle Tennessee State University. This piece is called Cold Target. It is laser engraving on masonite with ink and stains. Ron Porter came to Music City as a musician, but he ended up making his fame and fortune as a painter. He has created a very special work for the Music City Center called Backbeat, and it is acrylic and oil on canvas. Charles Brindley is famous for his Tennessee landscapes with trees. In this particular painting, uh, which is oil on canvas, he has captured a Tennessee hackberry in a rural setting. The coneflower is an endangered species, and Beth Edwards has used that as a subject matter for this wonderful oil on canvas painting called Wish. John Folsom of Atlanta, formerly of Nashville, has created two large-scale works for the Music City Center. Both are pigment prints on board with oil and wax medium and great additions to the collection. Survivor, the title of this painting by Jerry and Terry Lynn of Memphis, distinguishes itself and them from the fact that they paint together. The subject matter is very Tennessee, very rural. It's both contemporary and very traditional. Traditional in its setting and very contemporary in the technique and style in which they paint. The Civil War played such an important role in the history of Middle Tennessee. Nashville artist Dane Carter has used that as the subject of three large wall installations, acrylic on board. This particular painting is called the light of hope. Measuring 51 feet by 19 feet, Aaron D. Stefan's impressive artwork composition is suspended from the ceiling of the Music City Center. It represents the diversity of opportunities and the diversity of music coming out of this city. Bruce Peeble using wood, composite, resin, and chroma-based paint has created a three-dimensional work that greets guests at the top of level four escalator bank. 
Jamal B. Sheets, a Nashville artist, received one of the eight commissions. He has created a work called Eight Octaves using aluminum and enamel paint hand hammering the history of Nashville into eight different niches along the east corridor wall on the grand ballroom level. Suspended 117 feet along the east corridor wall spanning five different floors, Euphony by Benjamin Ball and Gaston Nogas is one of the largest pieces in the Music City Center collection. It's 25 miles of stainless steel chain. <music> 134 computer controlled LED lights replicating notes dance along the five bars of the musical scale in Beth Galston's work, Soundwave. She was inspired both by the undulating roof of Music City Center and sound patterns that travel through walls, through columns, through space. Nine thousand nine hundred pieces of ceramic tile, each measuring six inches by six inches, were used to create happy notes. Bob Zoll's tribute to Nashville. It is in the Sixth Avenue corridor and it welcomes visitors to Music City USA and to Music City Center. Thank you for viewing the artwork here at the Music City Center. On behalf of the Convention Center Authority, I'm Rich Boyd and hope to see you soon.